MediaTek just dropped its brand new Dimensity 1200 processor and this processor is definitely an improvement over their previous generation. So today it's gonna be a quick comparison of MediaTek Dimensity 1200 with that of Snapdragon 888 chip. Let's see which processor has got better specifications. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So let me start off with the CPU comparison here. As you can see, the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 has got three clusters. The first cluster consists of one Cortex A78 core clocked at 3 GHz. The second cluster consists of three Cortex A78 cores again, but this time they are clocked at 2.6 GHz. The third cluster consists of Cortex A55 cores clocked at 2 GHz here. So technically this processor is also an octa-core chip, 8-core processor. So talking about the Snapdragon 888 chip, it has got three clusters. First cluster consists of Cortex X1 Super Core clocked at 2.84 GHz. The second cluster consists of three Cortex A78 cores, you can call it as Cryo 680. They are clocked at 2.42 GHz. This cluster is called as Gold. The first one is called as Prime. And the third cluster consists of four into Cortex A55 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. So this is the silver cluster. Talking about the clock speeds, yes, definitely. The Dimensity 1200 is slightly clogged above than the Snapdragon 888 chip at 3 GHz. Talking about other stuff, as you can see the TDP 10 watts for 888 but there is no information for the Dimensity. But the nanometer, as you can see the Dimensity is at 6 nanometer processor whereas the Snapdragon 888 is on 5 nanometer FinFET process. So yeah, there is slight difference here. So talking about the graphics comparison, graphics on the Snapdragon 888 chip is Adreno 660, the improved graphic from Snapdragon, I mean Qualcomm. Whereas on Dimensity, it's Mali G77 MC9 graphics here. Architecture, as you can see, it's Valhal on Dimensity and Adreno 660, it says on the Snapdragon 888. And there are execution units, 9 execution units on the Dimensity 1200, whereas 2 on the Snapdragon 888. And if you want any other information, you can just pause the screen and have a look at it. So moving towards the memory, on the Snapdragon 888, LP DDR5 RAM is supported, whereas on the Dimensity 1200, it's stuck at LP DDR4X. Definitely, MediaTek should have gone with LP DDR5 as well, but nope. It's DDR4X. So talking about the memory, as you can see, memory frequency, MediaTek is clocked higher than Snapdragon, but definitely the DDR5 and DDR4 is gonna make a little bit difference over there. So yeah, talking about the max size, 16 GB on both of them. Talking about the ISP, Snapdragon 888 has got its latest Hexagon 780, whereas the neural processor unit on the Dimensity 1200 is not specified here. But the storage type here, as you can see, MediaTek supports latest 3.1, same as Snapdragon 2. Max display resolution is lower on the MediaTek when compared to Snapdragon. So talking about the max camera resolution, as you can see, both of these can support cameras up to 200 megapixel resolution. But the MediaTek Dimensity supports two cameras up to 32 megapixel resolution, whereas on Snapdragon it's at 25 megapixel. The major difference here is in terms of video capture capabilities. Snapdragon can capture video at 8K 30fps, but MediaTek can't do that. MediaTek is still stuck at 4K 30fps, not even 120fps. Snapdragon can do 4K at 120fps too, a big advantage here. So talking about the video playback, again, video playback can also be done on 8K 30fps on Snapdragon, but MediaTek is still stuck at 4K 30fps. So talking about the video and audio codecs, they are on the screen. You can pause the screen and have a look at them if you want to. Moving towards the connectivity, MediaTek has not been specified here, whereas Snapdragon 888 has got its latest 
X60 modem from Snapdragon which is an improved version from X55 last year. 5G support yes obviously. Download speed, upload speed is not specified for Dimensity whereas as you can see for Snapdragon it's on screen. Both have support for Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. Navigation sensors as you can see on the screen over there. So these are some of the major aspects of these chipset and yes talking about the conclusion definitely on paper Snapdragon 888 has got various advantages in terms of camera also in terms of video recording video playback etc so yeah that's what it is and definitely the gaming performance is also improved on snapdragon also because of that x1 super core snapdragon triple eight is definitely gonna be better than the mediatek dimensity 1200 that's for sure because the x1 core is the latest from cortex so which one will you go for the snapdragon triple eight or the dimensity 1200 do let me know your thoughts in the comment section so this was a quick little comparison of snapdragon 888 with that of mediatek dimensity 1200 so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 24 into 7 Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.